I took out my tape and extensions today. They were beyond ready to come out and I have some new ones coming in from Amazon that I will be applying and hopefully sharing in a video. But I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to try some new hair care products that I bought. I bought a bunch of hair care products from Blake Lively's hair care brand that sold at Target, Blake Brown. I have the two shampoos, a mask, I didn't get the other mask, I just have the strengthening one, I didn't get the nourishing one because it sold out, and then I have the mousse and the dry shampoo. Some of the products I did already try, and I have a few thoughts which I'll share towards the end of the video, but honestly I'm just going to get right into it. So right now in my hair I actually have the strengthening mask in, even though you're supposed to use this after you shampoo your hair. I did already try the pre-shampoo mask and I really liked it, but I figured, you know what, let me go against the grain and I'll try the strengthening mask as kind of like a mask treatment before I shampoo. And I'll let you guys know how I like that. So because I used the strengthening one, I'm going to use the strengthening shampoo as well. And yes, very unique packaging, I'll talk about that as well, but I'm going to hop in the shower, wash this out, shampoo my hair twice because this is a heavy mask and I have fine thin hair, so I want to make sure my hair is squeaky clean and then I'm going to try the mousse and I do have the leave-in potion coming in, but it hasn't come in yet, so I'll do like a whole hair care routine once everything comes in, but today I thought, you know what, since I don't have any tape and let me try it out. I'm going to kind of split this video up into three segments. The first one was introduction. This is the second segment. I'm waiting for my hair towel to absorb a lot of the water before I move on to styling and drying the hair, which is going to be the third segment. So I wanted to take this time to kind of chit chat. I used the strengthening shampoo, like I said, and it has a sandalwood vanilla smell, vanilla, but it says vanilla. I guess it's like super fancy. And I will say I do love the scent of her whole range that I've smelled so far. It's very much up my alley. I love warm warm but sandalwood vanilla combined together like I love all of that it smells very luxe very upscale type it's kind of reminds me of Orbe a little bit although Orbe is a completely different scent it still gives you that very luxe feel and one of the lines catchphrases for her whole line is because your hair is your most memorable scent and I will agree if your hair smells really nice you will be like anybody that hugs you anybody that comes by you you will smell nice like your hair really holds on to scent really really well if you're not into fragrances then automatically this line is not going to be for you for me i love fragrances and all the fragrances i really enjoyed this one isn't as overpowering as like some of the other products that i've tried like for example the dry shampoo amber vanilla this one is very very potent like when you spray it you can really really smell it which i don't mind i love how it smells but it might not be for everyone this one was very very subtle like in the shower i could smell it just the right amount and it lathered really really well like really good lather packaging i will say it's very unique like i said but it is kind of meant to sit in your shower as a combo because you're supposed to interchange between the strengthening and the nourishing the way that her products are set up is which i will say is very smart marketing because you almost feel like you need the mask to use the shampoo but essentially what she does is she says that in her field when she's worked with kind of hair people they never really used a conditioner like a conditioner was never really part of the routine they would shampoo and then do a hair mask shampoo and do a hair mask and she goes between the strengthening and the nourishing because she feels like you need both in your hair care routine so essentially how it's set up is you use the strengthening shampoo in shower and then you use the strengthening mask in place of your conditioner and then the next time around you switch and you move on to the nourishing one and you go between the two and so i can understand why she made the packaging this way because when you display it together it's kind of hard to do right now it kind of sits like this in your shower and i'm missing this mask right here it sold out like i said so i wasn't able to get it but that one would sit on top and this is how it sits in your shower so it makes sense like it kind of fits together like a puzzle piece so i totally get that but it is very unique if you were to buy just one you know it's kind of like a very very unique shape this is not real wood i thought it was real wood i feel like real wood would have been a really really nice touch but Again, it's going to probably really increase the cost, and the packaging is made out of 100% post-consumer recycled materials. You can recycle it, so that's really great as well. I'm not sure how well wood recycles. I did try the pre-shampoo mask, like I said, and this one I tried when I had my extensions in. My natural hair felt really, really soft and clean. Like, it didn't feel weighed down. It didn't feel greasy, and this is all that I used. I literally slathered it on, and it is, um, I believe it's aluminum packaging. So when I first opened it, it like oozed all out. <laughs> you have to be careful. There are no stoppers for, oop, there it goes again. So that part I don't like. I do like the packaging. The aluminum packaging feels very organic and natural, and this product smells really good. It's milky sandalwood and it smells really, really nice. I really love how this one smells. I have never I haven't smelled the nourishing shampoo yet. Let me give that one a whiff. Mm, this one's 
Very nice. It's Santal, but it has wild nectar. So it's like a fruity, fruity Santal. Oh, it's, this one smells really good too. So the dry shampoo I did use, I did not like this and I will not be repurchasing this. I personally love the day dry shampoo. I should do a side by side when my hair is like on day three of this one versus that one. This one just doesn't do the job for me. It smells incredible. It has a really good when it works because I know someone they bought it and then the spray didn't even spray. I had that happen to my living proof. Living proof. I had to Google all the popular ones. It was living proof. I got it sent to me in a FabFitFun box and after like a week it just stopped spraying and I was really disappointed and I couldn't refund it because it was gifted to me from FabFitFun. But anyway, this one sprays nice when it does work. Like it has like a pretty nice strong spray. Scent, again, amazing. This one is Amber Vanilla. Honestly, I love how it smells. Like, I would use this strictly for a hair perfume, but for being a hair perfume, actually, you know what? I feel like this is a pretty good price for a hair, hair perfume because I bought some from Kopari, and I think those were those were pretty expensive, but that one you can use on your body as well. $29, so it's $29 for the Kopari hair and body mist. That one you can use on your body. This would be really nice if you want your hair to smell nice. It will smell nice. It will linger. Like, I can smell it throughout the whole entire day. But unfortunately, this one just didn't perform for me. It didn't get rid of any oils. It, my hair kind of still felt greasy. It did give my hair a shine and a luster. I also like that it doesn't leave a white cast whatsoever. I'll apply it when I'm doing my hair care routine. No white cast whatsoever, even if I spray it really close and a lot of it. The day dry shampoo, it does give a white cast. It almost kind of like gives your hair this mattified, almost coats your hair in like a grayish color. So pros and cons but the day one it works so well to absorb oils and this one didn't really do anything it did give a nice shine and it smells nice and doesn't give a white cast but if you really want to get rid of oils it just unfortunately didn't do that for me that's what I tried so far now I feel like my hair had a pretty decent amount of time so what I'm gonna do now is try the glam mousse totally forgot the part about shaking it oh, smells good black currant vanilla it has like a fruity fruity gorgeous scent oh it smells like my aunt's house this reminds me so much of my aunt's house. I'm just going to distribute this through my hair. I'm going to start with one pump and then see if I need another one. Every set is so unique. All right, I think I'm going to do one more. And then I'm not going to do anything else because I want to see if this is going to make my hair crunchy, if it's going to leave it feeling greasy, whatever. I want to see how this performs just on its own without anything else. I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair like I usually do and I'll be right back. Voila! I went ahead and curled the hair as well because my hair naturally is very fine and thin and I feel like curling it just gives it the illusion of having more volume but the hair feels really really nice like really soft it has that subtle grapefruit scent to it because of the mousse which I will say the grapefruit or the black currant I said grapefruit the black currant one is not my favorite because I'm not one for super fruity scents but it is balanced really well with like the vanilla where it's not just fruity like a sweet fruity this is like a sophisticated fruity, you know? I do wish that the mousse maybe had one of the other scents because I feel like this is a product that I would actually use the most and this scent is gonna linger the most. The shampoo, I'm not really even smelling it as much, but if I use this on its own, I wonder if I would be able to, but I feel like it's kind of overpowered by the black currant. And although I do love the scent, I do feel like I love some of the other ones a lot more, but my hair, like this is the only thing that I used and I feel like I don't even have to use a root lifter because it gave me volume. My hair feels soft, like I said, it doesn't feel crunchy. It still feels very, very manageable. So I feel like this honestly is a really good product. So this I would repurchase. Now for the dry shampoo, I'm just gonna spritz this so you guys can see how it performs, but I'm gonna spray it up close so you can see that it really does not leave a weight cast. Like there's nothing no white cast whatsoever i don't think i've ever come across a shampoo or dry shampoo that doesn't leave a white cast but somehow they managed to do it with this one and it almost leaves your hair with a shine it's such an interesting concept but the way that i use it is i just spritz it throughout the layers of the hair and i feel like this also gives your hair a little bit extra oomph and this i love how this smells so this you will be able to smell all day and I don't mind that because I feel like this just smells super duper nice. You see how dry shampoo just kind of adds a little bit extra oomph to your hair? Obviously I did fluff it with my fingers, but it adds a little bit of something. Even if you were to just have dry hair, and even on here it says it's meant to be used day after day to maximize your hair's freshness. That's everything that I have so far. The only thing I didn't get to try in today's video is the leave-in potion. I'm really interested to see how that is going to perform because that to me is a staple that I use in my hair care routine. The only thing that's missing is a hair oil, but I feel like at this point everybody kind of has their favorite oils. For me, it's the Olaplex one. I love that oil and something that I would repurchase, but I would have loved to see that in this hair care line because I feel like it's just so essential 
to finish off the hair with an oil like I feel like it's missing something like I need an oil but yeah that is my thoughts on everything once I get the leave-in potion I'll try to do a full-blown hair care routine using these products but overall I honestly feel like she did a really good job I love the concept of shampoo and a mask I do feel like I'm missing the little guy that goes on top this kind of reminds me of a honeycomb in the most beautiful way ever it's just giving me like honeycomb vibes just just because of the shape but there's definitely a rhyme and reason behind why it's shaped like this a very unique definitely makes it stand out amongst other hair care brands and overall i honestly feel like she did a good job that's my thoughts on that i hope you guys found it helpful and i hope to see you guys in future videos i wonder if i'm going to be able to balance these guys for a thumbnail photo probably not you guys see the thumbnail that works out just know it took a lot of effort <laughs>